Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the farm. I got a part. I contacted farmerjohnsparts.com and told him my story about the MC crawler and what I needed and bless his heart he went and dropped everything removed the bearing cup he found one on the shelf removed the bearing cup and then removed the uh, oil seal and dropped this thing in the mail uh, the day before Christmas Eve and it came via UPS about as fast as it could considering the, the uh, Christmas time rush on shipping and uh, now we have another quill and this one appears not to have any cracks but we're gonna go take it over on the bench and inspect it look at it real close and then we're gonna start cleaning it up get it ready to be painted and get it ready to go and actually be put back on the final assembly or final drive assembly and get this thing put back together so come along with us this morning as I take this new quill, or at least new to me, and clean it up and get it ready. Let's get to work. now we're back over to the bench we've got the new quill over here and I'm inspecting it closely I've looked real hard and I don't see any hairline cracks I don't see any cracks it appears that this one is in pretty darn good shape. and I think we'll be able to use it so let's go over to the wire wheel and get all this paint stripped off and uh, get it prepared for refurbishment. Well now we've got it back on the bench. I've gone and wiped it down with some acetone and I'm about ready to go and put some professional fast driving and drying uh, industrial grade primer on here just to make sure that the John Deere green is going to stick. Cooperating with me. 
and there we go now we got a layer of primer on it and I gotta wait 15 minutes before I do anything else so let's go twiddle our thumbs well now that we've waited about 20 minutes I'm gonna go and put a little bit of John Deere green on here Well, there's coat number one. Now I get to wait 15 minutes. And now we're going to go and put the second coat of John Deere green on. And that ought to do it. That's two coats. And once I put everything together, it'll probably end up being three coats. I do want to take a minute here and uh, give a shout out to uh, FarmerJohnsParts.com. I called up Farmer John on the day before Christmas Eve, December 23rd. Called him up early in the morning and gave him my sob story. Told him what happened to my other two quills and then I was in dire need of another quill. And while he was talking to me on the phone, he went over to his shelving and he plucked one off of the shelf. Looked it over, didn't look cracked, but there was a bearing cup and an oil seal in it. And I asked him, could you please since we've gone and screwed up two of them in the process of you know cleaning them up if you could please go and take out the oil seal and that bearing cup and send it to me as soon as possible and he did John uh, popped those out dropped it in a box and got it in UPS's hands on December 23rd and today is the December 30th and I received it yesterday and I really appreciate his help. I really appreciate him toss it in the box quick for me. And uh, after doing a little bit more research, Farmer John's has a whole bunch of stuff, not just for the MC crawler, but the 420s and 430s, just about anything with a crawler and antique John Deere's in general. He's got, you know, crankshafts and all sorts in blocks and parts that not everybody got access to and he's got that stuff sitting on the shelf so if you need stuff for your MC crawler or your 420 or 430 or any of the early crawlers from John Deere give him a call his websites farmerjohnsparts.com and he really helped me out when I needed it and I do appreciate it now I get to let this sit and dry and you know watching paint dry is kind of kind of boring so I'll spare you that and uh, once this thing is dry I'm gonna go and grab all the bearings and seals and start putting this thing back together I can't wait thanks for coming out watching me get a couple of things done here on the farm come back and see us